Welcome back, viewers, to my accidental special episode. So this is part two. Make sure you watch the last one so you actually know what's going on. Seeing as this was all recorded in one take, you definitely need to know what mindset I was in while creating these episodes. So, I hope you enjoy. I hate filling up these inventories. But if I want to use logistic pipes to make sure they're always full properly and efficiently, Ah, uh, they require one supplier pipe per engine, not per set. It's actually, yeah. Ah, uh, so expensive. Of course, I could use my old method, which is basically just put pipes next to it and let them go in. But then you get pipes being, no, not pipes, charcoal being shot out when it wants to put in more than one. Well, for supplier pipe, you can just say, keep five pieces of charcoal in it at all times and it will do so. And that way you never get it being chucked out because basically, let's say, five coal will pass by in a pipe like so. And if there's one space, all five go in and then four get chucked out. Incredibly annoying. But with supplier pipes, that never becomes a problem. Uh, all of them up and running except for the last one? Okay. Four more charcoal. Damn, how many diamonds worth of charcoal do I spend just running these things? <sighs> Yellow lasers, you better upgrade. Come on, you can do it. It'll be fine, I'll sleep till morning and see what it's up to then. Of course, sleeping till morning also means more diamonds and... Oh no. I forgot about my Klein star. Ah, oh, I feel so stupid. And I only have three diamonds in my collector. Ah, oh. <laughs> I think I'm going to cry. Well, let's see what I can do to fix this problem. Clay is worth quite a lot. I'm going to have to try and make a climb star out of the materials I have on hand. Um, no, that's not really going to help. I need matter, not fuel. Some of this might help a little. Refined iron's useless. Okay. Tin, copper, bronze, more iron. The rest is kind of either worth too little or it's too valuable. Okay, clay, 4,000. So each stack of this is half a diamond, which will slowly get me closer to making a level 1 client star. Oh dear. Iron, bronze, copper, tin, Still not enough. What about three extra diamonds just getting thrown in raw? There we are. Kleinster. Okay. Suck up that EMC, please. I still need oh, so many more to actually upgrade back to level three. This is going to cause me quite a lot of trouble. Sorry, lasers, but I'm going to need this gold back. 25 gold should help a little bit, considering that's about... A little bit over six diamonds worth. Because four gold is one diamond, so 51,000. Alright. So let me see. Kleinstar Iron. Another Kleinstar Iron. Last Kleinstar Iron. Okay. Can at least get a level two now. There we go. Ah. <sighs> Still, I'm going to need three more of these just to upgrade to the next level. And it's got zero EMC? It's supposed to keep the old. Ah, damn it. Well, seeing as my lasers aren't doing anything anymore, I better just switch over all my power to my quarries. I wish there was an automated way of doing that. That would be rather cool. Now, let's see. Switch to frequency 2. This will also help me get some of my EMC back. Whoops, not frequency 3. Frequency 2, frequency 2, frequency 2, frequency 2. This is actually more than normal, seeing as I only usually run 4 on each quarry. No, 2 on each quarry, but there is 7 at the moment. So I'm using 3 more than normal. Don't worry, there won't be any explosions. Anyone who watched the last episode know I have tested for that to make sure that cannot happen. Stray Mav is definitely going to eat this time. No dying from jumping off something just one block too high. Ah, okay. 
Oh, I can take out all the Sapphire and Emerald as well. That can help me a little bit with the MC. It's only about a diamond and a half worth, but it's better than nothing, considering how many teleport pipes I need. Oh no. Each teleport pipe is a diamond. Oh dear. 16,000 with only two diamonds worth. I would swear these are actually moving faster. That is really strange. I did hear that the more energy you give them, like with no actual limit, the faster they go and the more energy they use. That would explain why there's never an explosion if they're just constantly using more energy to go faster. But I did also hear that there is diminishing returns, so eventually it does hit some kind of soft limit, as in each one will still increase it but you'll barely even notice it. That would be rather cool, because these are going damn fast now. Okay. I can't even see the items going in though. What? Why? Did I already turn off my diamond pipes? I couldn't have. Nope, they're definitely going down. And they aren't going into the chest. Hmm. What's this frequency on? Frequency 3? Connected pipes 2? Oh yeah, that's, that's alright. So maybe can receive is off? Oh, how do I get to... Ah. Uh... Okay, never mind, it definitely is filling up. It's just filling up much slowly than I expected. Oh wait, there we go. There must have just been a whole heap of ores and things that weren't actually getting turned into EMC. I do actually have a whole heap of ores downstairs that I can transmute. In fact, I really should, seeing as I am kind of desperate for EMC now. I was saving it up for a rainy day, but... I suppose that time has come. So let's see, iron is the most expensive, so I'll just grab all the iron I have. And... I'll leave the copper behind. Okay guys, so the SLI has been turned off, but it still appears there to be some strange errors happening. So it seems like what I actually have to do is do a complete mod reinstall, which I will not be doing right now, because no. I was flying around before to try and see what was going on. But yes, it doesn't seem to have really fixed. Sorry about how loud that was, if it was too bad. Um, no, I don't mean like too bad, like, oh, damn it. I mean, if it was too loud. Industrial craft machines do forget what sound setting you've set it to. The macerator itself is causing chunk errors. This is uh, terrible. I'm just going to sleep for the night so I don't have to watch those flashing textures. But yes, installing every mod again will be quite a pain, but it should fix these problems I'm having. <sighs> okay, first bit of iron has now been macerated. So I'll take out that dust, put in more ore, and then place it all into the furnace here. Whoa, loud. Sorry for forgetting once again, viewers. Um, yeah. Really my bad there. Diamond, copper ore. What's ore doing in here? I guess it makes mistakes every now and then, or that's just really strange. Now, that'll go along nicely, as will that. <sighs> okay, might as well turn this into EMC. My plans for the episode really have disappeared thanks to that Kleinstar debacle. <laughs> debacle, why would I say that? Why do I have three diamonds up here? Obviously I just want one. Now let's see, Kleinstar, absorb six diamonds. And... Actually, wait, I don't need to macerate the iron dust, do I? I'm pretty sure it's worth the same. Yeah, seems like it. Okay. Not bad, then. 84,000? Uh, still not really what I need, though. Maybe I can speed up the process by making another antimatter relay instead. Obviously, a collector might be better, but this should do its part. Mainly because, although it's still going to be getting the same EMC from the collectors, relays do add their own bonus EMC, depending on how many collectors are around them. So although it will only supply the bonus of having two, it's still a bonus and I need all the EMC I can get. Okay. Okay, since I am really desperate for EMC and I really don't have much time to do this, seeing as I want to do other things, I'm going to make a temporary solution, uh, damn it. 
just so I don't waste any extra time, I'm going to connect my macerator and put it into one of these chests. wonder if any of... oh, this can get burnt down. And we've got some tin. That is actually pretty good news. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this iron and this copper. I haven't found tin in a really long time. I think that must have been still back from the other house, actually. Because these quarries haven't found any tin. They haven't gotten far enough down yet, I suppose. I really hope that there is tin down there. I might have stuffed up world generation. I wouldn't be that surprised. Now I'll just... Why am I putting it in here? Oh well, it's already done. I'll take that diamond and I'll burn it away in my transmutation tablet. What else? Oh, you come back here. What else can I do? There should be lapis or something. Or something somewhere. Oh, there might be some stuff in those chests up there. You never know. Ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> you never... Ah, no, 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 no. Let us see. Uh, okay, let's sort this out. All this redstone, I, well, I kind of need it. Uh, anything worthwhile? Any lapis? Or There we are. I'll just keep two of it. 52 lapis will really help me out. And copper ore, not too bad. Iron ore, perfect. And okay, I'll take out some of this, some of this. I know glowstone dust is worth quite a lot, so I'll take out half. Yeah, alright, that'll do the trick. This will help me out quite a bit. Now, let's see, how much EMC can I get out of this? Redstone? Half a diamond per stack of redstone. I was hoping for a little bit more. Half a stack of glowstone? That's more like it. Also, get rid of all this lapis. This will help me out majorly. Iron. I'll get myself... Hmm, an extra relay or an extra collector on top? I'm gonna go with collector. Okay, one more energy collector coming up. I'll just go place you on top. Wonder if I can... I like them all to face the same way if you haven't noticed. And there. No, oh, damn it. There we go. Still disappearing like usual. I need to grab some glowstone so I can have this working all the time. Glowstone. There we are. Rather expensive. Now, if I just head outside, um, don't think this is going to work unless I can just hit that glass right at the top. There. Aha! I really expected that to stuff up and I was going to waste a whole heap of material. Everything went better than expected. Really surprisingly. Okay. So I still need another collector on the back of it. Another bit of glowstone. Need another relay here. Two more collectors. Another piece of glowstone. But I'll get to that eventually. Now as I was saying, that temporary fix to make sure I don't waste any time. I'll just connect these. Which one's the empty chest? You've got some stuff in it. You aren't too bad. Oh wait, there we are. This one's empty. In fact, these entire chests here can pretty much disappear. I pretty much don't need them anymore after this, seeing as I'm using my automated crafting things. Now I'll just pipe you out the side. Yeah, the side. Here we are. Nearly done. There we go. Now, I should change the frequency of this. Frequency 102, eh? And I'll also pipe things out of here then, and this is the right chest? No, it isn't. I'll pipe things out of here and set this to frequency 102 as well. So I can constantly make things as I sleep. Now I'm also going to need... I'm also going to need some wooden transport pipes and engines and such. I haven't done this in a long time. Let's see, do I have any engines floating around? Steam isn't really going to help me. Come on, I must have some redstone. Another steam engine? Oh, come on, I use them all? Okay, well, I've got some pistons upstairs, so that'll make it... Oh, I've got some right here. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. 
How do I make redstone engines again? What in the world is that? No, a regular engine, not for making a hot air balloon, I believe. Wooden gears, glass, planks, okay. Glass I should still have in my inventory right here. Planks, 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 okay, I've got some wood. Don't need that much. What else was there? Alright, I also need some gears, so might need some more wood after all. Now, let's see. All of you turn into planks. You can go into gears for me. What's wrong here? Alright, oh, sticks. My bad. Okay. Now, a whole heap more wooden gears. That's enough to make four. I only need three. Now, here we are. I'll just overlay that. Pistons, gears, glass, and then wooden planks. There we are. Three wooden. Three um, redstone engines. Now I also need some basic wooden transport pipes. Now I can start this up downstairs. Alright. Now I'll just replace this with a wooden transport pipe. Stick down a redstone engine like so. I don't have anything to power them though. Damn it. Ah, okay. No real problem. I'm also going to have to use that last teleport pipe that should be in my inventory somewhere. Somewhere. Here we are. Item teleport pipe. It's for a worthy cause, I suppose. Okay, wooden transport out here. Teleport pipe here. Now I just have to set you to 102. Put down a redstone engine here. And that should teleport in there. I'm not even going to have to use my last engine. Wonderful. Now I'm going to take out all the coal. Wow, damn it, this is the wrong box. Ah, <sighs> okay, let me fix this up. Wooden transport pipe. Teleport pipe. 102. And redstone engine. Now I just need to grab some redstone torches or levers or anything really. Okay, couldn't actually find anything, so I'm gonna have to use some cobble. No problem. Sticks, cobble, there we go, I've got a lever. And I'll just make a couple more, of course. There we go. I just threw the sticks out onto the ground, didn't I? Ah, uh, she'll be right. Now, whoa, moving a little bit fast. There we go. Oh, what am I doing? You don't power the pipe, you power the engine. There we go. Now I've got the dust coming out here, and hopefully... Oh, damn it, no, not coal. Coal is the only thing I don't want coming out of these chests. Oi. There we are. Now I'll just put all my ores back in here, seeing as it's automated once again. Oi, give me that back. Now, what is this set to? Frequency 4, okay, not a problem. And I'll just put all of this up here. Wait, where are the ores coming out from? Damn it, right there. Okay, I'll put all my ores down here, so they can come out before any coal, so I shouldn't have any kind of problems. There we are. The coals will come in last, shouldn't be. Yep, I can now actually put my coal back in here. Coal, coal. Charcoal, 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 coal. Okay. Now my ores should be going into here. Come on, wait, what's going on? Ah, oh, can receive true, of course. There we go. Now, of course, might have some problems when this actually fills up. Because it's probably getting pumped out faster than it actually gets macerated. So, back to a really old school solution that does actually waste ores, but at least it'll work. I simply place it like so. That'll do the trick. Or perhaps... Hmm... I might just be able to make it bounce. Nah, it'll be fine. Now I'll also set this to can re Oi. I'll also set this to can receive true. Just so these pipes don't get overloaded with ores, so they can actually get transported back into the chest. 
not the optimum way to do things, but at least it'll work. And I can just use my Somnia mod to sleep. That way I won't have to keep waking up and I can just be ready to... What am I trying to say? Be ready to make a whole heap of EMC after a few nights sleep. So I got bored of waiting and looking at my boring design, so I just expanded it out a little. Nothing really to update here. <sighs> I'm just waiting for the stuff to actually macerate. Why did this have to happen? This was not what I planned for this episode. Hmm, maybe I have enough for at least another collector or something? Actually, I probably have a lot more considering, yep, 12 diamonds. Forgot all about that. So let's see then. Burn them down, 110,000 EMC. Some of this iron, I think each stack is a diamond. No, each stack is two diamonds. Not bad then. One more collector. Damn it, I was hoping for another one. Let's see, perhaps if I just burn down some of this charcoal. There we are, two energy collectors. I also need some glowstone though. Do you have enough for me? Awesome. Okay, I'll take that back. Thank you. Now, where did I need to place them again? Oh my gosh, how did I... How was I forgetting this entire time? That collectors go on the front, too. Stray Mav, you are ridiculous. Okay. I can't actually tell that it's going faster, but I know it is. <laughs> Okay. Still, not bad. Although it feels like I haven't gained any EMC because I keep on spending it on stuff. But still, this probably is the best way to go about things. How are these going? Still making iron, so it still hasn't started onto copper yet. Although copper is flowing through my pipes now, so the iron maceration should nearly be done. Some iron appears to be floating. I'm just going to pick them up. Wait, come on. Let me see. I can see you floating there. Oh, oh come on. Oi, oi, oi. Did that pick up all of them? What's going on? Oh, there's only three, no real problem. Okay, it's just because the iron's full. I'll take out half of them. Put them back into the chest so they can slowly circulate once again. There's going to be a major problem once, it's, once it actually switches over to copper, because they're all going to be fighting to get into here. Ah, oh, well, it's not really my problem. Actually, no, it's only my problem. Oh, right, actually, forgot about the glowstone, didn't I? Okay. There we are. Okay, done. Look, it's rather looking kind of ridiculous now, but my wallflower is nearly completed. Of course, it, well, really, it's nowhere near completed if you think that I have to upgrade it into Mark II and Mark III. But still, it's quite a step forward, and all because I accidentally forgot about my clone star. Some more diamond for moi, I shall take that. Burn them down as usual, put them into my clone star, and let's see. More collectors? I'm not sure. Oh, I guess the collector does need to go on the front still. And any other place for a collector here? Is that a spot in the back? Yep, it is. That's strange, my condenser's lid is permanently open. Just like my chest over there. Hate it when they do that, they just look ridiculous. I'm pretty sure they close once I reload the world. But yeah, I need still two more collectors until that relay section is done. So I'll create one now. And one piece of glowstone. Now, let's see, front or back? I'll put it on the back, seeing as it's harder to forget to put it on the front, seeing as it's staring right at you. Then again, I forgot completely about it, didn't I? Well, there we go. Slightly faster, once again. I only need one more collector. And then, well, okay, that was a complete lie. I need uh, four more collectors? Yep, definitely four more collectors, one more relay. And then my entire flower is complete. Although I probably will put another relay and some more collectors. Oh, well, one more relay, one more collector on the front here. Because I don't see any problem with mining through two blocks just to reach the actual condenser. 
Nothing wrong with that at all. And obviously my flowers are completely different to other people that make them, seeing as I actually connect my quarries to them. Normal people would put another relay and collector here. But Stray Mav is anything but normal if you've been watching my series, you probably know this. Alright, sleeping one more time should give me enough diamonds and once I burn all of that iron dust I should be able to make one more collector. So let's see, copper is actually starting to travel up the pipes now. So my iron dust is complete, I'll take that copper as well. Actually, just in case, I better actually leave some of it here. Considering I'm not going to have any diamond, uh, any iron after all this is actually done. Take out the four diamonds, climb star in, burn down diamonds, burn down dust. Oh good, I was right. It was enough for a collector. Pretty much exactly. So, collector on the front. And, ah, uh, damn it. One more glowstone, please. And there you have it. One more relay completely finished. Only one more to go, or two more if you include the one on the front. Not bad at all. It's definitely going faster than it used to, considering it's getting four to five diamonds. Oh no, must be about nine diamonds a day now, I believe. Considering I sleep twice and every time I'm getting at least four diamonds. Not bad, I'm quite happy. I think my quarries have turned off. Yep, and I definitely do not have the EMC to keep them powered, unfortunately. Ah, uh, the shame, but it's alright, I suppose. Anyway, viewers, I did just check the time. Actually, no, I checked it about five minutes ago. And noticed this is um, nearing up on a complete hour, which is a special episode, which was well, completely random. I definitely didn't expect to. It was just from me being tired and screwing up completely, which isn't really a good reason to have a special. <laughs> so, I have split this episode up, which you would know by now, seeing as this was uploaded a day after, seeing as I'm still about to split it up. This is confusing, seeing as I haven't actually done it yet. My house looks like a giant... Okay, moving on. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Stray Mav signing off, and gonna just create another sign on sign off so I can split this episode into two parts and it starts raining. Goodbye viewers, I hope you enjoyed.